Jeffrey Smart's The Observer 2, uh, painted uh, in 1983 and completed in 1984. This is a painting which comes from the absolute sweet spot in the artist's career. So uh, I guess from a purely commercial point of view, his highest recorded auction price uh, is for a picture called Self-Portrait at Papini's, which achieved uh, $1.3 million uh, a few years ago. That's a 1984-1985 painting. The Observer 2 is one of those pictures. Uh, we've, we've been aware of its, its location and, and the owner's circumstances for some time and uh, really fortunate that uh, our Sydney team could impress, impress upon the owner the, the gravity of this 20th anniversary auction. Perhaps not a coincidence that the date is 1983-84. When you, you look at the painting, it's really got an Orwellian feel about it with the protagonist with the binoculars and, and, and the loudspeaker and, and the idea that he would be observing and piping commands out of the megaphone at, uh, at, at the world and, and, and its inhabitants. But just a, a magnificent picture, fantastic scale. It's 100 centimetres high by 140 centimetres wide. This is absolutely as large as, as Jeffrey Smart paintings get in terms of square centimetres. But it's got all that wonderful smart iconography, that, that hyper-realism in the, in the foreground with the megaphone and its connecting chords. A, a figure which dominates uh, the picture plane. You've got those archetypal smart, smart apartments in the, in the background. It's, it's a painting which, which really has the lot and deserves to do very well. I'd be suggesting a, a really bullish seven-figure result with this picture and uh, it was a logical choice for our catalogue cover.